Good afternoon, Arakumi. How are you guys? I'm enjoying spring break. Kinda like I'm I'm not cleaning my house per se, but I'm like doing my room and sections. So today was the bed mostly. Um, my dogs <laughs> they haven't showered in like two months, so they needed a shower, and I did that. that. Um, and I was, we were washing at the same time. I even showered myself at the end because usually splash me when they're like getting dry. So yeah, it's been kind of like a short, long week. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, look, this is what I did yesterday. And by all means, I look at like people are starting to, because spring is finally here. Thank God. This, it wasn't too bad for us here in Southern California, but um so it's warm but it's gonna dip down on the over the weekend so i made these um carrots it was somebody's um tutorial to do rainbow carrots and granted mine didn't come out all that great but overall i'm really happy about them and how like how the how it didn't take me very long but it took me long because i was trying to streak like you know the carrots you know how they have those side to side but anyway, I thought that was cool. I'm going to do them again, but like in a rainbow, like I'm going to put them like that. I'm going to make more and then I'm going to like uh, put the iridescent on top. Wouldn't it be cool? But, you know, I got to do shiny. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, oh, actually this is like an impromptu video since I'm sort of alone. Like um, my brother's here, but he's sleeping. So remember when I did this? this was the canvas watercolor canvas yeah you guys it works and this was from from uh what is that store not michael's the other the other craft store um i don't know why i can't think about it. um hobby lobby uh, when i yeah i know right i just wasn't prepared so i remember when i stamped it and i did it on camera a little bit and then i stamped the rest and then I colored it. These are watercolors, and some of them were watercolor markers, but some of them are watercolor. So I'm basically finished. I might put a little bit of iridescent here and there. Um, guys, I love, look at, there's no, no bleed through, nothing. So it does work. And I'm, I, it, it cost me $10.99. So yeah, I'm really happy. I actually also bought it as a, a to test it for watercolors but b um because i also i wanna this very soft and it's very fabric like so um when i make watercolor journals like i was thinking like uh, i could use this um as a top and bottom and people could i could stamp it for people and they could color it um so yeah that's that's why i had this but i guess since i had to i did this one it will be for me or i'll just probably leave it and give it away or something um at some point i haven't decided but so this is the reason that i'm here so i have a little bit of a small haul for you guys now you know how it is with me and customs right so i would have showed you what i got what i was waiting for and it came from japan but it's stuck in oakland it's been stuck there since monday early a.m so they finally release um i'll just tell you what it is it's the rembrandt landscape uh watercolor set yeah they're stuck in oakland i'm gonna get them tomorrow but you will see them on the video where i swatch them on camera on saturday but these were something that i got through amazon about a week ago so these are like acrylics where like I have a lot of stamps that's why i showed you the canvas because i want to use my watercolor um stamps these stamps i got i have three sets of stamps for watercolor um i got from erie landgraf and um vienna she she i don't know she stopped selling them i think um i got them there were 25 each and i got they're so fun and there's like a little bit of everything so i, I needed a different i only have one acrylic so I needed a different acrylic, um, different sizes. So this come out and I like this one. Look how cute this one it is, All right? Um, and I like the fact that it has a little, like the little markers. Um, 
so that's the reason i still have some i didn't buy too many stamps most of them are actually for watercolor so see um this is really cool so yeah and they're like different sets right and that's the reason so because a lot of them are like they're not mounted so i could put them on here and i could stamp them and i want a different size so i don't have to like um worry worry about like oh i have to and this one is so big i have stamps that they're this big so this one is gonna work wonders like this is the same size as the ranger now so this was like eleven dollars this from another crafter that were i used to follow her jessica i'm a cool mom but i think she now she calls her she's paper terrace now um so yeah that's the set of acrylics because i want to use my watercolor stamps but get this i need it um because i st if you notice i stamped these you can't tell now but i stamped them with green and that's the only ranger archival ink pad and it, it was the smaller version like the size of this basically probably smaller than this um so i i order on amazon right and i didn't know this was on sale and i didn't know i was gonna get the big one when i arrived i'm like whoa look at that and it's the black one so i'm gonna try it for you guys um probably because i want to do um on paper i want to do the uh when i swatch this weekend the uh the rembrandt but yeah how cool is this so i got the jumper one jet black um for the price of what i got four years ago for the small one now granted the small one i mean i put alcohol in it and i've been using it even though it's actually already given out but i'm not gonna toss it out i'm just gonna get the green little refill and just put like refill it basically because it's cheaper and i already have the pad so it's not like i enjoy the green one believe it or not it was kind of like unusual but I'm, it's hard to see on camera so i'm gonna so you using the black but how cool huh i got it for six dollars and i think it is still on sale on amazon so that was really cool now i'm gonna show you so i got so the rembrandt set like i said it's still it's still in customs it's still in oakland they just released it like at 1 51 right before i went live on here or on this video but i got so i got the landscape because I did like another cityscape one, but that one's so ex more expensive. And on top of that, um, I've been wanting to to get this Rembrandt. Then I these were seven dollars and like five cents on each tube. They're ten millimeter tubes from Blick. So I was like, okay, what's gonna make me happy? Um, not just having the generic landscape, right? And I got the landscape because it doesn't have white, it doesn't have gray. The cityscape does have white, it does have gray, but all the other tubes, they have like lavender and all that stuff. So um, I decided to go with the landscape because in my view, it had a better, it had a better selection. Um, but I did like the cityscape better. So what I am going, what I did it's like I had a I ordered that through Amazon and um, and it was from somebody from Japan and they shipped it they shipped it in, in a FedEx international priority which is a blessing because they didn't charge me extra for that or anything it was free shipping actually so yeah but it was the same price as you would get 102 if it was in Blick but on Blick which I got this last over the weekend actually on Saturday or Monday I think it was Monday yeah it was Monday morning um I order I order these which were like okay I put myself okay no more than $40 it was like 42 I got I got so and I paid three dollars of shipping so it's not bad Blake does charge you tax on like Amazon where they charge you like um no shipping and all this stuff because I have you know I have prime but ugh, it Blake it's sometimes it's annoying so i got this um lavender as an addition lavender i got uh rosa as an addition 
And I got a, these were all the cheap ones. The Cobalt cold Blue, because Cobalts are normally more expensive. So the blue was the only cheap one. They had a Quinacridone one, but I think my set comes with it. And then you guys, this is the best part. And that's the reason I ordered this three, because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get th six more. So it'll be 12 plus six is 18. Right, I'm only gonna go up on Rembrandt because they're so pricey here in the U.S. Um, in sixes, if I have to add more, right? So I was like, okay, eighteen it is. That's it. Um, so this is I got the dusk green, and I got the uh, dusk pink. And that was this is a, this was the reason that I. Um, I, I actually try, I have this in, remember, I have this in, um, the student grade, which is, uh, which is, uh, Van Gogh. So now I want to try the professional, which is Rembrandt. And this is the dusk yellow. So yeah, they, they go in order <laughs> that these three were the reason, cause I'm like, I'm just not going to get, um, just the 12 plus these three now i'm gonna get more like and yeah so i cannot wait i heard a lot of good things they're 10 millimeter tubes i cannot wait to try them out for you on the weekend hopefully my landscape um thing i don't know why it comes customs they they love to i don't know why they love to um when it's watercolor remember i had this issue like over two years ago from the UK, in which now the UK posts posts on top of the package, like what it is, and I actually told the person from Japan to that sorry this and that that I would provide the the statement and all this stuff, and they obviously because it's much it's already here it's much easier, so they were like oh we're sorry next time we'll do that I'm like and this is why, but I mean I'm happy that I didn't get charged no imports duties or whatever that is so i'm just blessed i guess but you know everything is stuck uh, yeah and customs love they love to um keep keep uh watercolor stuck i guess because they want to know exactly the millimeters and what's inside and what it is i don't know it has something to do with 9 11 where they can't open shit unless like there's a probable cause so yeah that's why they do stuff like that but when it's coming from overseas and also now from to state to state a long time ago in the 90s um you were able to ship through the mail and through like let's say you're visiting like let's say washington state we went to visit me and my brother and we brought apples back from washington to Cal southern california and yeah nobody said anything and when my mom was trying to ship something for me um like 15 years later um, from Southern California, something that she grows in her home that she used, uh, she used to grow. I, we still have some fruit trees now that she's gone, but, um, not as many as, uh, she did at one point. And she wanted to ship them to me, uh, when I was in, uh, in North Carolina and North Carolina wouldn't take them. So I just told her, just put it in. Don't tell the male pe people what it is. Cause I mean, it's nothing. We're not, it's just fruit, but they said something about the seeds. So that also changed. So I don't know why, because it's like same country, but it's just different terrain. But anyway, so I thought I'd just come on here and show you, you know, so you show you some love and show you what I'm working on and what are my thoughts. I'm actually working on a really cool like tree um, that I found a tutorial through um, Ellen and, um, on her watercolor. Uh, but yeah. I've been finding a lot of cool stuff on, um, I found a candle one, it was so cool, this morning, so I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow, and yeah, I just been enjoying myself, so I hope you like this, um, video coming out for Rembrandt, I'm also gonna do a very lengthy, you know, um, I bought it, why haven't I used it for this Friday, so yeah, just stay tuned, also, FYI, before I go, um, I check Amazon. Amazon is having a spring sale. So there's a lot of good deals. So go on there and check out. Because I think the Turner, um, uh, the Turner, not the watercolors that I got.
but the Turner um, Designer Squash, the 18 set, I do believe is back to $32. So don't get the 12 set because they'll charge you more for that. Get the 18 set. Um, if you are into that, a lot of people are buying it now, now that I bought it, right? No, it's because um, actually not so long ago, a few weeks ago, uh, Sarah, Sarah, I forget her last name, but she works only with gouache now. And she's in, she's in Ireland. She's a really good artist, gouache artist. And she actually did a very small review on that gouache. And so people are buying it. Yeah, it's very good. And I feel like it's more like, um, kind of like Holbein, the Holbein watercolor or like Turner, Turner, um, watercolors where it is very how do i say it it is very creamy but not very thick as normal gouache um i actually was working with the black um from that turner designer on top of my watercolors and it's like perfectly it married perfectly i just added just a little bit more of water just to just to um work with it but that's about it well i'm gonna go outside and pick up my mouth my dogs are i don't know why they like to bark at my mouth <laughs> they know who it is but anyway so i hope you enjoy this impromptu um small indifferent um haul art haul um i will check this out for saturday because Rembrandt. Ooh, i'm so excited you guys but uh yeah and uh i hope you enjoy yourselves have a good afternoon bye